ABC's American Crime is one of the standout new series of the season. This story of a murderer and the families affected by it features a striking score by Emmy-winning composer Mark Isha. Variety's Elizabeth Wagmeister sat down with Isham in the newsroom to talk about American Crime's unusual score and how he worked with the show's creator, John Ridley. So this show is so powerful. Obviously, the themes, John's writing, the actors' performances, but the music just really adds another layer. What really does the score do to emphasize the drama of this series? Well, John wanted something very unique in the music. So we came up with sort of a two-part style to accommodate that. But he also wanted something very traditional. He wanted a theme in the grand tradition of great television themes from the 60s and 70s. Something that would go from episode to episode, not only be in a title sequence, but be in the episode itself. We chose a, a style of music that I don't think anybody, any executive in their right mind would ever say, oh yes, do that. <laughs> this is neoclassical music with a tradition of based on minimalism, which is composers like John Adams, and Max Richter, and is a very rarefied type of music. Mm -hmm. But John was obsessed with it, and it happens to be a passion of mine to that style of music. So it was a marriage really made in heaven. But I don't want to get too technical, but it has to do with patterns in music that just constantly evolve. And I think the reason it works so well is there's, there's sort of this relentless highly emotional, but at the same time very relentless, which the story is, just another wave of emotion, another wave of emotion, and uh, the theme represents that. Why do you hate me? I don't hate why you, but you hate me? that's why we're going to do Now, do you write at all for the specific characters? Yes, in, in unlike a lot of things that I score, the characters or the couples, shall we say, mm -hmm. Um, have their own sort of music. There's definitely a Carter and Aubrey theme. There's one for each family, so to speak, that really seems to fit the particular unique tension mm -hmm. in each one of those relationships. You actually have very strong ties with ABC. You're also the composer for Once Upon a Time. I am. What is the biggest difference that you notice on this set? Well, you always sort of have your tongue slightly in your cheek with Once Upon a Time. Mm -hmm. It's big, it's Disney, it's mm -hmm. fanciful, it's fairy tales, mm -hmm. it's orchestral, and it's very traditional in that sense. With John, it's very unique. It's a sculpted world, unique unto itself, that hopefully it's never quite, music's never quite been done like that before. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, the television landscape is drastically changing, and I think American Crime is an amazing example of mm -hmm. that. How do you think the changing landscape really affects you and other composers? Well, I think it's great, because it allows us to do something like American Crime, and we're allowed to really say, well, let's just do something completely different. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it's something I do to sort of break the idea of writing a cliche to begin with. I'll just say, you know, that sounds pretty, uh, as a borderline, I may have heard that like a 5,000 times mm -hmm. before. So let's just do the exact opposite and see what happens. Let's play a major chord over a sad moment mm -hmm. and just see what that does. Mm -hmm. And nine times out of 10, it just opens the door to something really refreshingly new to happen. Every time we start a new cue, we have the opportunity to just do it slightly left of center mm -hmm. and to really contribute to the to the show's unique quality, but at the same time, just a level of emotion that is great. Thank you.